Hey, what's up guys? Benny here and welcome to another Call of Duty Advanced Warfare Elite Weapons video where I cover different elite weapons that I get from supply drops while playing Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. If you're not already subscribed, make sure to click that subscribe button and if you enjoy the video, drop a thumbs up. It's always really appreciated. In this episode, we're going to be covering the KF-5 Breakneck, which is one of my favorite elite submachine guns in the game and was surprisingly one of the first that I ever managed to get while playing Advanced Warfare. Warfare. Uh, first of all, the gameplay you guys are watching is a couple like 20 gun streaks, really fast pace uh, while using the KF5 breakneck. I'll put the class I'm using in the video and what I think is the optimum class to use while using the breakneck at the end of towards the end of the video. But first of all, I'll throw up the KF5 breakneck so we can look at the stat adjustments compared to the regular KF5. The big big change of the breakneck compared to the original is it has an increase of three in fire rate, which is absolutely insane and works perfectly uh, with the KF-5 because if you didn't know already the first five bullets out of a KF-5's magazine has increased damage so with this increased fire rate you absolutely melt people if you're getting them in their faces and making sure you've always got the first five bullets in the magazine so always after every kill make sure you reload so you've got like, that five first five bullet power um, like you can win you can get so many insane turn-ons and stuff like that it has a decrease one in accuracy but you can kind of counter this using a grip um, and really you don't have that many choices of attachments to use with the breakneck which is the major major downside with it and weirdly enough doesn't actually show on the care 5 elite breakneck card um, you can't use attachments like stock quick draw uh, extender mags dual mags and stuff like that so you've only really got like three or four attachments to choose from I always go with the um, advanced rifling um, foregrip and uh, like either a red dot sight or the laser sight. Uh, with the class I'm using, I'm using the laser sight because I'm running gun ho which works perfectly with this class because literally you don't have quick draw and stuff like that so you don't have the quickest aim down sight time other than like KF5, like some machine guns generally have a very quick aim down sight time um, so it works in certain situations but in like close quarters and stuff like that against other submachine guns you just sort of need to hip fire them in the face which is where the breakneck comes into its element. Um, I still don't think it's the best submachine gun like it's one of my favorites because it's really fun to use uh, and it reminds me of the MP5 because I remember in Call of Duty 4 I just absolutely love the MP5 because of like the uh, iron sight and stuff like that which has got really nice iron sight um, and it's just really really fun to use so definitely if you get it give it a go but I think the ASM1 speak easy and stuff like that um, are still far better than the KF5 breakneck it's it, it's a really good gun and absolutely melts um, and you can get some insane feeds and turn-ons and stuff like that so it's definitely worth using um, but guys I'm coming up to the end of this video I uh, hope you are enjoying this series here's the class that I'm using um, just so you can see it in the top right corner and it's 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 a really fun class. So if you're gonna if you're trying to if you're a bit stuck on what class to use, um, definitely go with that. That's one of the best I personally came up with. Uh, but if you, I hope you guys have been enjoying this elite weapon series. Uh, doing I've been doing it about every three days or something like that, along with my uh, Benny Live series, which is every three days. Definitely go check all that stuff out. And I hope you guys have been enjoying the daily content at 6 p.m. Uh, New Year's resolution. And I hope like I can keep it up and stuff like that, and then start bringing other content to you guys as well. I've uh, been getting really into Destiny a lot recently as well, which is a lot of fun. But see you guys next time. 